In this installment, we're going to be going over the two top sports books currently out right now, FanDuel Sportsbooks and DraftKings Sportsbook, giving you my pros and cons for each and helping uh, the the casual better, the casual gambler um, of how to navigate these sites. All right, let's get into it. Yo. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients on your how to guide on DraftKings and FanDuel Sports uh, book. I just wanted to give you guys just a nice series of just the basics of sports gambling on these particular sports sites right here, which are the two most popular out right now FanDuel and DraftKings. Currently, right now, sports betting has already reached 28 out of the 50 states. Uh, not all of them have do have the FanDuel and DraftKings uh, sportsbooks in them, but they are eventually coming, as well as other states that are getting legislation passed uh, so they can um, also have sportsbooks and sports wagering in their states as well. So it's just a growing, growing um industry right now and it's going to continue to grow it's inevitable it's going to go to pretty much all 50 states and it's just a matter of time all right uh they see how business is booming um the the, the states are making a certain amount of money that is really really astronomical um and it's and it's helping it's helping these states okay so for this before i deep dive into it and give you just the basics of of sports betting just not we're not going too deep i'm just giving you a little overview don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at message sd and also if you are a viewer and not a subscriber go ahead and click that subscribe button right now currently at 760 uh the goal is 1k 1k will be the giveaway that 1000 subscriber will receive cash okay so they can wager on something um uh, either what they want to what they want to use uh if they want they like FanDuel more if they like DraftKings I'll be giving you some money so you can wager on that now let's get over to FanDuel Sportsbooks we're going to start off with this one but before I do that I'm just giving you some of the terms okay some of the terms you need to follow through with just plain and simple we'll start over with NBA cuz I know college is going on right now just plain and simple. NBA is going to be starting up on Thursday. So just the terms. Money line. All right. You see this one in the middle where it says money. That is money line. All right. Money line is the most basic wager in sports betting. Um, you're just betting which team is going to win. All right. You're taking all the variables out. You're not choosing, you're not getting really creative. You're just just give me this team to win. All right. Obviously, the favorites are going to be um, it's going to be less value in them. Obviously, for example, this Cleveland Cavaliers team, if you bet them on a the money line at minus 420, you would have to bet four hundred twenty dollars just to receive a hundred in profit. OK, that's what you have to do. You have to make up for that money line that is currently set because they are favored. All right. The sports book are are trying to make money. Don't forget about that. Right. If if it was opposite on the money line, the Detroit Pistons, if you put one hundred dollars on them, you would be receiving four hundred and thirty dollars or three hundred and thirty dollars in profit. OK, now spread spread is the one to the left spread is right here. And that is this plain and simple. You have three potential outcomes. You can win if the team covers the spread. You can lose if the team doesn't cover the spread. And there's also a push, okay? If you're doing a parlay or if you're just doing just one single spread bet, then you get your money back that you put down. If it is a push, if it exactly is nine points that it says right there, then it is a push and you will be receiving what you already had put down, okay? Same thing that goes for the other side, Detroit Pistons plus nine. They have to cover, they have to lose or win by that nine points. If they win, that's fine. If they lose by nine points, then at that exact number, it is a push and you get what you uh, put down. If it's eight, even better, you get your money plus 
um, the odds, which is at minus 110, okay? And then if we're going over to total, those are not set right now. But the total basically is the over or under that you'll see as well. You're just betting whether or not the combined points, goals, runs, um, scored by both teams will go over that number that is um, going to be introduced to you or under that number. So you're just betting, hey, hey, if this team is a defensive team and they're going up against a team that struggles to score, you're going with the under. You don't care who wins. They just have to combine to go over or under whatever number that you choose, okay? That's just plain simple. Just the main terms that you're going to have to deal with on a daily basis going on FanDuel and DraftKings. That's why it's the main three um, on any game. It doesn't matter what sport, okay? You're going to have to deal with the total, the money line, and the spread, okay? Now, on FanDuel, just some of these perks that you'll see. FanDuel has decent boosts, not, not, not too crazy, which I will speak about on DraftKings. They have a few here and there. Um, some do hit, some don't. It's, it varies uh, which one, but uh, FanDuel has less perks. There's promos that you have to watch for, and you can take advantage. Maybe you can get a bonus here on Same Game Parlays, which I'll do a separate video on. Maybe you'll get a boost on uh, depositing or even um, referring friends. They have that on both of these sites. Um, sometimes they do on a specific day um, or a holiday. They'll do specific boosts on that day, okay? But uh, FanDuel is pretty much plain and simple. White and blue. I like the color scheme. Um, not saying it's it's it's, it's kind of inviting. It's just very cut in place. Nothing too extravagant. It gets straight to the point. They want your money. Okay. So if we're going over to DraftKings, same setup over here. This one is a little more of the darker. It kind of it, it more inviting to the eyes uh, because that bright bright blue and white on FanDuel um, that kind of gets annoying. DraftKings. Black and green, green because you want to win money. That's why they they really emphasize on that. But same setup here, okay? Spread, total, and money line. Um, both of these sites, if you click on any specific game, they do give you some um, stats um, that you can look into if you want to deep dive and do a little research before. Making your bets. Here's an example. Let me just go to NHL. This is it. Probably is a late game, so we're just gonna go to NHL. We're gonna scroll down. In this particular game, the San Jose Sharks and the Anaheim Ducks, they give you a little synopsis and they really delve in deep. You can get really creative, and that's gonna be in a separate video with all the other things you can do: player props, uh, team props, game props. Um, they also help you with stats. I think it's better on DraftKings uh, just because they give you more of analytics. All right. They got game details, average goals per game. Uh, they got fun facts that can lead you um, either way. Ranks. They got matchup stats um, with these two uh, teams. And they even have recent head-to-head -head matchups. They do not have this on FanDuel. DraftKings, I think, does a really good job on this. And they really um, delve in deep on um, really bringing an analytical side before you make these bets. You can really just get a lot of information from here other than Google or anywhere else. Just uh, learning about the teams before you put down these uh, bets. You have betting trends right here, um, the covering rate for each team. So you can really, really delve in deep. Um, the favorites right here, favorite and underdog record. Uh, head to head total movement. So you can really learn a lot more on DraftKings. This is why I prefer this platform over FanDuel. I like the color scheme, even though blue is my favorite color. I do like the color scheme on DraftKings a little bit more. Um, and it's, it's just more, it's more not ways to win because you can get really, really creative on FanDuel, but it's, I just like what they provide, all right? Even if you go to the homepage and they really give you a lot of options up top. Um, they had the happy two-day boost pack right there, getting 22% of profit boost. 
that's pretty cool. New customers bonus, they have that on FanDuel as well. But there's just a little bit more that you can do over here on the boost and promo side on DraftKings over FanDuel. FanDuel, there's more ways to win, especially on same game parlays. You can get really, really creative. Uh, but DraftKings, there's more boost and um, promos. But also, the line's a little tougher, okay, on the DraftKings side. That's just some of the things I've noticed, all right? So that's just a really, really, really quick and brief overview of DraftKings and FanDuel Sportsbook. I don't want to go too long in this. It's just give you some simple information on how to bet just the basics on both of these sites. Remember, focusing on the money line, the spread, and the total, that can be just enough. We'll di dive in deeper on a future um, episode going in the same game parlays, player props, um, all this stuff we can really get into, okay? All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessageSD, and I'll be back with another video very soon. Peace out, guys.